What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Unova Red Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the Viridian Forest, caught ourselves a few Pokemon, and then off screen we did a little bit of training and found out that, yeah, well, you know, maybe it's just okay to have one good elemental monkey rather than two. Plus, we captured ourselves another Pokemon in Zibstrika. As you can see, we named it Zippy. And, well, it is an electric type Pokemon, and it does have Quick Attack as its only move. That is for future references when we need to capture Pokemon. Now, as you can see, Toxicity grew at a few levels. It was a little bit of a, a hassle, but it is what it is with this Pokemon. But the most levels that we've gotten was on Mr. Hydro right here, because, of course, he, you know, he is the key Pokemon to actually have against this first gym leader. So, let's go right ahead and take on Brock's gym. Now, normally I'd be visiting the, uh, I'd, I'd be visiting the, the museum and all that stuff, but a lot of you guys already know my style. You guys already seen a lot of my episodes in regards to Pokemon, uh, well, Kanto region and all that stuff. Now, what I'm trying to do right here is see if there's something hidden right here. But you guys already know my style, so we're going to go straight to the Pokemon Challenge, or the Pokemon Gym Challenge, and uh, see what kind of Pokemon we're going to go, be going up against. And yes, he is the rock-solid uh, gym leader right here, so let's go right ahead and see what's going on right here. Now, it's the same thing as Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. Gary's always going to be ahead of us. And I'm going to start off with Toxicity, mainly to switch battles right here, or switch, switch out and all that crud. So here we go, going up against uh, this guy right here, saying that we're light years away from Brock. And he does have two Pokemon, one being a Lillipup. And as you can see, it is at level 11, so that's a pretty big jump from what we were originally uh, going up against. And that bite attack, yeah, takes a lot. And yes, poison this Lillipup right here. So what's going to happen is we're going to be switching it out to Oikinator right here. And as many of you guys already know, I think I've already had a Lillipup right on my team. Don't necessarily want to put one right here, although I really do, you know, to get uh, Stoutland from Scotland. And uh, um, we'll see what, what, what eventually happens. Right now I'm just testing out the waters of what Pokemon I kind of want to use. So here we go again, another Ember attack. And Lillipup has been defeated. And Toxicity grows to level 7. Oinkinator, you know, getting some experience points. And here comes a Drillbur. And that is another Pokemon that I've actually used, uh, you know, in Pokemon Black. I believe I called it a Drillmonger. Might be wanting to use this Pokemon again since it does become a Steel type Pokemon eventually. And well, let's go with a uh, good old fashioned Water Gun attack. Drillbur is a little faster than us right now, so. Yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of a, yeah, a little situation right here. And well, there we go. Water gun attack does the thing. Mr. Hydro doing his thing. And yes, we have won. Yes, light years isn't measured. Okay, so we need to heal up. We need to stock up on potions. Let's GTFO, and I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, so we're back, and we stocked up on potions, guys, six of them, to be exact, and now we are going to go up against Brock, the gym leader. Now, if, 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 you know, the battle here is any kind of indication of what might happen against Brock, I am going to start off with Mr. Hydro first, just because it's a water-type Pokemon. Yeah, we kind of need that. So here we are, Brock, the Pewter City gym leader. He's like, I'm Brock. I'm Pewter Jim's uh, uh, gym leader. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then. Show me your best. I love this song. I really do. Especially with Unova Pokemon. So here it is, guys. A very our very first battle in uh, our gym battle right here, and we are going to be taking on a Rock and Rolla. Look at that. Level 12. Thankfully, there are no effects right here, so we can just beat this guy with one hit if we need to. And this Rock and Rolla is going to try and blind us right here, so we're going to try and hit it with one more Water Gun attack and then switch our Mr. Hydro out just because, well, you know, kind of want to, kind of want, we kind of don't want to stay blinded or anything like that. And well, here he comes with an Arkin. Holy crud, an Arkin! If you guys don't know. Arkin is a freaking rock and bird type Pokemon right here. It is fast as you know what. And we're going to use Quick Attack just to mess with this Pokemon a little bit. And here comes a Leer Attack. So I'm going to use Zippy as a Sacrificial Lamb 
just to get a few hits off and well it's not working here comes a peck attack right here not effective but it just makes us faint right here and what's going to happen is I'm going to try and use Toxicity's Poison just to, you know, lower this guy down right here. So let's go with a Poison Sting. And an Agility Attack raises its attack or its speed. And, well, we're going to try and just, like, you know, poison this guy right here. And holy crud. Takes most of our HP right there. Come on. Come on. Poison this guy. Come on. I don't care how fast you are. I want you poisoned. And, well, yeah, there goes Toxicity, and we have not poisoned this guy. So let's go back to Mr. Hydro right here. Holy crud, this is a challenge of a lifetime right here, and here comes a quick attack just to hit us hard. And, well, here comes the Water Gun attack for the win, hopefully. Nope, it takes the majority of its HP, but here comes another Peck attack. Luckily for us, we do have uh, Oceans right here. And nearly takes out this Pokemon right here. But more than likely, this guy is going to try and heal his Pokemon. So let's go with the Water Gun. No! <laughs> we got lucky. Water Gun for the win. And there you go. Mr. Hydro kicks butt, takes names. Holy crud. Okay. I took you for granted. As proof of your victory, here's the Boulder Badge. And well, there we go. We got ourselves a Boulder Badge. That's an official Pokemon League badge. Its bear becomes, or Pokemon becomes more powerful. The technique Flash can now be used anytime. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but it's fine. Wait, take this with you. And we get ourselves a TM34, which of course is a technical machine. Can only be used once right here since we are in the Kanto region. And well, it contains Bite as always. And yes, it will take, uh, it'll absorb any kind of energy and return it double fold or whatever. So there we go guys, another victory for us. We got our first badge right here in the Kanto region with Unova Pokemon. So now, we are able to go into the next route, going into Mount Moon. So stay tuned guys, in the next episode, we are going to be going through, I think, Route 3 or 4, whatever it is, and uh, yeah, taking care of business right there. So thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next time.